सोनाने भूमि मॉडल ना क्लियरली सुनने में आ रहा है ना क्लियर बोल सोनाने या ग्रेट चलो अच्छा दिस इज़ वन ऑफ़ द ग्रेट अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड दिस इज़ अ वेरी स्मॉल टाइप ऑफ़ अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड बट हेयर मेनी थिंग्स टू लर्न एक्चुअली इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टैंडर्ड द स्टैंडर्ड स्टार्ट्स विद द नेम कंटिन्यूएंसीज एंड इवेंट्स ऑकरिंग आफ्टर द बैलेंस शीट डेट इट मींस एज द नेम सजेस्टेड दैट समथिंग इज ऑकरिंग आफ्टर बैलेंस शीट डेट इट मींस समथिंग सम इवेंट इज देयर व्हिच इज गोइंग टू हैपनिंग आफ्टर द बैलेंस शीट डेट दिस स्टैंडर्ड्स नेम्स विद इवेंट्स ऑकरिंग आफ्टर द बैलेंस शीट डेट एंड आल्सो कंटिन्यूएंसीज ऑल्दो कंटिन्यूएंस इज गिवन but contingency is not our part okay although contingency is given but it is not our part contingency will be dealt with in the account statement 29 okay in the account statement 29 now let's talking about some part of the contingency first okay what is the standards is talking about everything else first of all the important meaning we need to know that is in contingency okay please copy with me Contingency. What is mean? Contingency means probable. Contingency means probable. Means certain things which is going to happen in future, not right now. Contingency you can write here probable. Probable. Okay. Contingency means probable. You can say it's a it's like a tension. It's like a tension. There is what to do. What is going to happen? What situation we can have like that? It will suggest some condition. as well as some situation contingency basically depends on some conditions or situation let's talking about one example suppose there is a case going on between mr x and mr y the lawyer of mr x is running the case in the court as well as the lawyer of the mr y mr x knows very well he knows almost knows that he going to lose the case after the second hearing okay it means of just first hearing closes second hearing will be after 7 days he is predicting that he may lose the case because loss of, like lack of evidence due to the lack of evidence he knows that so do you know what happened mr x is started to depositing not uh, or saving some money from its profit so that when he lose the cases he is going to compensate from that particular money correct guys so this is the first case that we have to understand it's typically based on the condition and situation it's typically based on the condition and situation okay you know that this is probable probable means result not known actual not known you are predicting probable means you are predicting but the result you are unable to know you don't know about the result okay and it may be possible the outcome may be resulted in gain or outcome may be resulted in the loss it quite obvious that it is quite possible that the outcome is going out from the case will be positive or negative correct it's quite possible and sir the third thing is that occurrence or non occurrence definitely contingency depend on any happening occurrences or non occurrences either it will happen or either it will not happen like that occurrence or non occurrence correct and the last one is that obviously uncertain future event we don't know about the event to be happening it's truly it's truly a uncertain future event correct Truly, a uncertain future event. We don't know about the result or anything else. Nothing we don't know. Correct. Here we don't know about anything else. It's truly an unpredictable thing. Truly an unpredictable thing. Okay. We don't know about anything else. So this is what the contingency is, and I am talking about the contingency very first because if you don't know the contingency, you are not able to identify. which types of event it is and how we are going to solve it there is a very first case that we need to know okay very first case that you need to know the contingency first okay that's a very important thing a 
अच्छा ये तो हो गया सर समझ में आ गया नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टॉकिंग अबाउट टू थ्री थिंग्स हियर ओके वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू थ्री थिंग्स इन दिस केस यू सी देयर इज एन रिजल्टेड रिटेन आउटकम गेन और लॉस ओके सो दिस गेन और लॉस एक्चुअली नॉट गेन बिकॉज़ इट्स टॉकिंग अबाउट द गेन बट एक्चुअली गेन नॉट हैपनिंग इफ एनीथिंग गेन इज हैपनिंग व्हाई आई एम गोइंग टू डू एनीथिंग एल्स इसका मीनिंग है अगर गेन होता तो हम लोग क्यों करते प्रोविजंस व्हाई यू आर डूइंग प्रोविजंस और एक्सेप्ट एक्सेप्ट और व्हाई आई एम गोइंग टू गेट टेंशन as because we faces losses that's why this standards is comes into the picture okay as we faces some losses that's why this standards comes into the picture okay it doesn't matter that you are going to get the uh, gain because gain hota to kyu aata agar gain hi hota sir to kyu aa jata gain to hoga hi nahi to aane ka koi question hi nahi hai sirf losses discuss karenge hum log kya discuss karenge only the losses so if you can see if we are going to discuss the losses loss we have two types okay mainly this with the data whatever the losses we have related to the data we are only talking about and other losses we are going to talking about in the age 29 okay other losses will be recorded as per age 29 age 29 is a contingent assets and contingent liabilities age 29 is stands for contingent assets and contingent liabilities we are going to talking about in this part so losses other losses will be recorded in age 29 so sir while we are going to discuss age 4 we are mainly talking about the losses that may come in the future based on the sandy debtors based on the sandy debtors that is what our point of discussion correct that is the topic that we are discussing right now so any losses arises we are going to talking about in the latter part that is in respect to the debtors but any losses arising out uh, like other than debtor it's simply a separate standard deal that is age 29 okay that is what the losses that we are going to discuss and provision and except etc okay चलिए अब समझते थोड़ा डिटेल्स में द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी नीड टू नो द बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर लाइक आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड द चैप्टर बट बिफोर गोइंग टू द डेप्थ द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी शुड हैव टू नो दैट व्हाट आर द इंपॉर्टेंट सीक्वेंस ऑफ अप्रूवल ऑफ फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज़ वी आर रिटेन हियर आफ्टर द बैलेंस शीट डेट सो व्हेन वी आर रिटेन द आफ्टर द बैलेंस शीट डेट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वी नीड टू नो व्हाट आर द की point that we need to discuss before starting with the standard key points kya kya hai sir wo sabse pehle janna padega i am talking about again what are the key point that we need to talking about okay so first of all we need to understand the sequence of the approval of the financial statement sequence kya hai financial statement ke approval karne ke liye what are the sequence are there that's we need to know okay chale ek baar main aapko likha ke dikha dekhiye sequence of approval of financial statement okay in case of company so this is very important we need to know it it means how the financial statement gets approved from the board of directors and the shareholder what are the time and what are the date of date we need to focus before starting this particular standard because standards mein na aap dekhoge in this standard if you see it's clearly written after the balance sheet date but what about the balance sheet date balance sheet date janne padenge na ki what are the balance balance sheet date so sabse pehle mujhe janna hai डेफिनेटली देखिए स्टेप वन हा प्लीज मेक अ नोट ऑफ दैट आफ्टर द फाइनेंशियल इयर एंड बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर प्रिपेयर द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट आफ्टर द फाइनेंशियल इयर एंड द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर प्रिपेयर द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट 
after the FYN. अच्छा मैं पूरा लिख देता हूँ financial year end. Board of directors prepares financial statement, guys. Now you guys question me. एक दिन का एक question, sir. Financial year end होने के बाद का board of directors prepare करते हैं? Yes. Yes, sir. जी yes. I'm sorry, telling you uh, one two three. याद रखिएगा ये company जो मैं पढ़ चुका हूँ Priyanka ma'am से. I'm just telling about. Sir, we need to understand the one more important thing. In case a company is doing the financial statement for the first time for its company uh, for its, so if the company is doing the first financial statement, okay, after its incorporation, then the company should have to approve the financial statement in its AGM, in its AGM because financial statement will be approved in the AGM by the shareholder. The first AGM should have to be happen. Within nine months from the end of the financial year, it means that the 31st March co financial year close it. So you should have to complete your AGM latest by 31st December on this particular year. अगर 31st 31st 2024 31st March 2024 is your financial year end, then 31st December 2024 is the deadline in which you have to complete your AGM annual general meeting. You have to complete your AGM. That is annual general meeting. That's the important thing. You have to complete your AGM. That is annual general meeting. Correct, guys. This we need to remember clear cut. Now, sir, tell me about the important thing. If you are talking about the AGM, so it's the first AGM. Now, in case of the subsequent AGM, means second time AGM or third time AGM. After completion of the first AGM, in case any subsequent AGM, you have to complete your AGM latest by six months. From the end of the financial year, सबसे पहला AGM करेंगे हम लोग नौ महीने के अपार, sorry, within nine months from the closer of the financial year, because first AGM है ना तो government of India giving you the time to complete your financial statement, because you are the first comer right now, you are a first comer right now, so you can take your time actually, but in case of subsequent AGM you should have to remember, in case of subsequent AGM you should have to remember that The AGM should have to be held within six months from the end of the financial year. So, guys, as six months is a very good amount of time to complete the annual general meeting. So, guys, after the financial year end, the board of directors start to prepare the financial statement. It means already entry made, but definitely in the during the year, all the entry has been made by the <coughs> accountant clearly. What we should have to do? That board of directors should have to. Complete and check the transaction that has been made during the year, and then start preparing and telling them how much profit they have to show. Because board of director क्या करते? Profit show करवाते. Board of director is actually telling them how much uh, tax they are going to pay. Based upon that, accountant will adjust the profit accordingly as per the order of the board of director. Correct. So that is why after financial year end, board of director prepare the financial statement. Step two. Step two written. Auditor conduct audits and issue a report on financial statement. So after the books of accounts prepared, auditor will. Start doing audit and issue a report on the financial statement. Correct. Auditor will start doing audit and issue a financial statement because इसके पहले I have to complete the board of uh, report financial statement. That is the step number one. Step three, last step. Okay. So audited financial Are adopted adopted by the member of the company in the AGM. Got it, guys? There is a very basic fundamental that we should have to remember. So this is the third three steps. 
through which the financial statement of the companies is being approved and published. Okay. First, prepare by the board of director after financial year end, then doing the audit, and then they have to start to approve from in the AGM. They have to decide the date of the AGM, then they should have to approve it. They have to decide the AGM and they should have to approve it. This is the three steps we should have to remember. Yeah, legally, it's very important. And what is the other First AGM should have to be held within nine months from the end of the financial year. Subsequent AGM should have to be held within six months from the end of the financial year. Okay, it means 30th September is the AGM date. If you read the chapter management chapter, chapter number seven of the Companies Act, then you should have to know that AGM date will be six months from the end of the financial year. In case of the subsequent AGM after the first AGM. Okay, yeah, that is very important. That is very important. So this was we have done for the first case. Now we need to understand there are two things we are going to deal with. Okay, one is called contingencies, and this is called the events. Okay, we are going to deal about the contingencies and events. Okay, so these are the two things that we are going to talking about. Now the first thing is that uh, these standards applicable to all, except in which cases it will be not applicable. Okay, in which cases it will be not applicable. Right now, please write down this economic standard. This standard does not apply. This standard doesn't apply, okay? This standard doesn't apply to liabilities of life assurance and general insurance. Definitely, sir, in case of insurance, you are doing insurance that you know, this standard does not apply because obviously, in case of the life assurance or the gen insurance, we all know that something may going to happen. Something may going to happen. If it is precautiously known that something is going to happen or the death of the assets is going to be happen, then obviously it is not a contingency because it is not an uncertain event. It's quite obvious that when someone took the insurance, it's quite possible that the things is going to happen. That's why he's uh, uh, like having the insurance now. Otherwise, why he is or she should have this insurance? Only the point is that when insurance is being taken, there is a reasonable chance to get the benefit of the insurance. So that's why it's not applicable because which continuous in here, probable hai. probable, but the probable nahi hai. Kisi milne wala probable hota to, but the future prediction. But it's like something will be going to be happen in the case of the insurance taken. Number three, uh, number two. Obligation under retirement benefit. Definitely, sir. Definitely. Gratuity, guys, sir. Gratuity. Obligations under retirement benefit. Sonal Bhumi, when you, are by, you guys are going to work with any office, then, and you work for five years, then you guys are eligible for getting the gratuity from the company. You guys are eligible to receive the gratuity from the company because you spend good amount of time of five years and as you cross five years time with the same company, you become eligible under the gratuity act. If your company cover under the gratuity act. So that is why you are eligible. So obviously, if you are, you know that the gratuity should have to be paid in case the employees 
is there for the five years with you, then why you are going to say it's probable? आपको तो देना ही है ना retirement benefit में obligation तो आपको देना ही है liability you have to pay. So why you are going to think that sir I am I have to pay then I have to pay? No no no, that doesn't happen sir. ये नहीं होगा sir, नहीं होगा. ठीक है so any retirement benefit plan it's not covered under this uh, this particular standard. You can say gratuity. You can say the uh, pension. These are known facts. These are known facts. And the last one is the commitment arising from long-term lease contract. Please note it down. Commitment arising. from long term lease contract so when you made any contract under the lease then it's quite possible that some liability may arises due to the contract due to the lease contract some liability may arises so this is also not a contingencies okay this is also not a contingencies so these are the three point if you read this with my words it will be very much clear why it is not a contingency because it's all these events are you are going to know or you are going to pay that's why it is not covered under the uh, as4 it's not covered under the as4 that's the very basic theek hai na sir samajh mein aa gaya sir bahut easy hai these are not covered under the as4 ye as4 mein cover up nahi honge theek hai sir acha fir se hum log contingencies mein chalenge abhi contingency bahut achhi tarike se samajhna hai और बहुत अच्छी तरह से पढ़ना भी है एक बार मैं कंटिन्यूस फिर से गो थ्रू करवाऊंगा उसके बाद मैं कंटिन्यूस के एग्जांपल्स दूंगा कंटिन्यूसी इज द प्रोबेबल इवेंट इट मींस यू आर हैविंग अ टेंशन ओके रात को सो रहे हैं टेंशन हो रहा है क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा आई डोंट नो एस क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा व्हाट टू डू व्हाट इज हैपनिंग व्हाट इज नॉट हैपनिंग इट्स कॉल्ड अनसर्टेन फ्यूचर इवेंट एज इट इज व्हाट टू डू व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन व्हाट इज नॉट गोइंग टू हैपन दैट इज व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड अनसर्टेन फ्यूचर इवेंट Condition and situation definitely it's like uh, it's exist between a certain condition and the situation between a certain condition and the situation. Okay, you just need to know about that part. Okay, the result of which depend on the occurrence and non-occurrence of any future event. The result of something is depending on the occurrence and non-occurrence of the future event. That's why the contingency board is answer. Probable क्यों बोल रहा है? Something is depending, any activity depending on the occurrence or non-occurrence of the any future event. So that's why it's called contingencies. And if it is happening or not happening, the outcome become gain or loss. It is happening occurrence or non-happening. Then due to happening or not happening, either it may be loss, either it may be gain. As we are talking about all the case of uh, loss, the gain is irrelevant in this particular or contingency case. Because gain होगा तो सोचेंगे ही नहीं ना सर, we are only talking about the loss. So in this case loss mainly with respect to the provision for data, okay something you sell goods to the data and data is unable to repay the dues that is due from the particular customer. So this is what the losses may be happen due to the uncertainty of the payment related to the future of the data. Correct. And any other losses will be dealt in the H twenty nine. Any other losses will be dealt in the H twenty nine. Now let's take an example. I uh, gave you the example actually. Now let's do it one example from the Institute Math itself. Please refer the Institute Math. I'm going to open the Institute Math here, and I'm going to show you. Look, contingencies losses का example अभी पढ़ पढ़ेंगे और get it more clear on our mind. Okay. Please open your book, take a pencil and mark it. ठीक है sir. The accounting treatment of contingencies contingent loss. is determined by the expected outcome of the contingency definitely what will be the result based upon which we are do the accounting treatment if it is likely that a contingency will result in a loss to the enterprise then we should provide a loss in the financial statement if it is quite obvious that the sundry data it is quite obvious that sundry data is going to be insolvent in the future we should have to do the provision for doubtful debt mujhe pata hai sonal bhumi i know that there will be Losses arising due to the data become insolvent in the future. मुझे पता है मतलब पता चलने वाला है, होने वाला है. देखो actual में that is not happen, but I am predicting that it may be happen. 
so there is a contingency that it may be even there is a probability so that is why i am going to make a provision for doubtful day so this is what is called contingent losses and you should have to record in the books of accounts so if you see the example abc has filed a case against the debtor for a recovery of 25 lakhs so abc has filed okay with respect to the debtor with respect to the 25 lakhs according to the legal team the chance of recovery is nil definitely sir the legal team of the abc has been sure that chance of recovery become nil therefore abc should make a provision for doubtful debt sir why why provision is going to make because it's a future event is going going to happen or may not be happen you may face losses sir just remember just remember the three policies or three conventions of accounting that we discussed in the very beginning that is called prudence always anticipate the loss never anticipate the profit if you are anticipating that that will be there will be losses so you should have to record it if you are anticipating there will be losses you should uh, should have to record it you should not wait to for that you should have to record it correct guys aapko wo record karni hi chahiye aapko wait nahi karna chahiye aapko record karne chahiye correct sir ekdam pakka yes aapko record karne chahiye so that is why we need should have to do the provision the estimation of the amount of a contingent loss to be provided for in the financial statement may be based on judgment made by the management definitely management whatever the decision made by the management based on the losses they are going to record it if there is conflicting or insufficient evidence for estimating the amount of a contingent loss then disclosure is made of the existing and nature of the contingencies i am repeating again if there is con conflicting or insufficient evidence for estimating the amount of a contingent loss then disclosure is made of the existence and nature of the contingencies correct so that is of the very beginning point that you should have to think judgment should be provided by the management relative to this and if there is an insufficient evidence for estimating the amount then disclosure will be made based on the existence and the nature of contingency because if you are doing provision na aapko to disclose karne padenge na kya hai kya nahi hai you should have to disclose this so these are the fact that you should have to understand okay and the estimate of the outcome and of the financial effect of the contingency are determined by the judgment of the management of enterprise we are talking about this this judgment is based on consideration of the information available up to the date on which the financial statement approved obviously sir the judgment should be based upon the information available to the management and it will include a review of the events are occurring after the balance sheet date supplemented by expert experience of similar transaction and in some cases report from independent expert definitely sometime you know that what is going to happen or sometime you are taking a reports from some independent parties to get to know what is going to happen correct based on the market situation the existence and amount of the guarantee is obligation arising from discounted bills or exchange of similar obligation undertaken by an enterprise are generally discussed in the financial statement sir just think any liability arises due to bill discounted by your party just i am talking about sonal you give a bill to bhumi okay sonal you give a bill to the bhumi because bhumi is um, sorry you purchase goods from the bhumi so you are liable to pay the amount of purchasing goods to bhumi so you pay him a bill you give him a give him a give her a bill okay so when you give her a bill she is going to um she is going to uh, bank and then they will be discounted by her actually okay she is going to receive the money from the bank after depositing the bill so you become liable to pay the bill amount because aapne to bill de diya tha and bhumi bank mein jaake usko discount karwa liya discount means in cash discount means in cashing so when bhumi in cash it your banker will call you and ask you to pay the money because already bhumi to leke chala gaya na paisa aur aapko to paisa dena hai so this becomes your liability this becomes your liability they should have to discuss in the financial statement by way of the note even though the possibility that the loss of the enterprise will occur is remote okay so even the liability is happening or not happening that doesn't matter but you have to understand that the possibility of the loss will going to happen or not going to happen but you should have to record it in the books of account that is what is called the contingency yahi to contingency hai na yahi to contingency the contingent gain hum log discuss kar sakte कोई दिक्कत नहीं बिकॉज कंटीजन गेन वी आर नॉट गोइंग थ्रू इट बिकॉज कंटीजन जिस कंटीजन गेन का कोई मतलब एग्जिस्टेंस नहीं है मतलब होगा क्यों सर कंटीजन गेन 
होगा क्यों रिक्वायरमेंट ही नहीं है ठीक है देखो कॉन्टिजेंट गेन आर नॉट रिकॉग्नाइज इन द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट सीन्स दे रिकॉग्निशन में रिजल्ट इन द रिकॉग्निशन ऑफ रेवेन्यू व्हिच मे नेवर बी रियलाइज्ड ऑब्वियसली आई टोल्ड यू ना गाइस ऑलवेज एंटिसिपेट द लॉस नेवर एंटिसिपेट द प्रॉफिट अगर आपके पास कोई प्रॉफिट होने वाला है इफ यू आर गोइंग टू रिसीव एनी प्रॉफिट अंटिल एंड अनलेस यू रिसीव द प्रॉफिट हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू शो इट इट इज क्वाइट ऑब्वियस दैट द प्रॉफिट मे गोइंग टू बी कन्वर्ट इन द लॉसेस इफ यू आर प्रेडिक्टिंग द प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम द सेल ऑफ द शेयर टुडे and tomorrow when the market open you may face losses so until and unless you realize the money you cannot show the contingent again in your books of accounts it is against the prudence it is against the prudence p r u d e n c e n c e prudence sir okay it is against the prudence so you should have to remember this sir we should have to understand that we are not going to record the contingent gain in the financial statement okay that please make sure You are not going to record the contingent even in the financial statement. Okay? Please make sure that. And you understand very much important. Please highlight this. Uh, I that's why I highlighted this also. You should have to understand. Or else question at that. Here, sir, little little questions are there. Okay. Obviously, the estimate of the outcome of the financial effect of the contingent is dependent truly on the management of the enterprise. Okay. and the judgment is based on the consideration of the information available up to the date on which the finance statement is approved okay sir acha sir ye samajh mein aa gaya just a minute sir now we are dis going to discuss the biggest part that is called event occurring after the balance sheet date that's the biggest part okay that is what the concept of discussion that is the main thing that we are going to discuss okay that event occurring after the balance sheet date okay event occurring after the balance sheet date but sir before starting to this i am going to talking about a lot of points okay before starting with the event occurring after the balance sheet date i am going to talking about a lot of things here okay bahut sara cheez discussion karenge उसके बाद हम लोग आगे जाएंगे ठीक है सर अभी बहुत सारा चीज डिस्कशन करना है उसके बाद आगे जाएंगे चलो आप लोग अभी कॉपी करते जाओगे बहुत सारा नोट्स है वो लिखेंगे हम लोग अभी ठीक है देखिए सर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉन्टिजेंसी करेक्ट ओके वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉन्टिजेंसी ठीक है ठीक है कैसा Please note it down. Contingencies, okay? Contingencies means certain probable uh, situation exists or certain probable tension exists. Contingencies again, I am writing tension. Tension exists, okay? Now please write down. Contingencies relating to. okay contingencies relating to contingencies relating to mean tension what is about the tension number 1 tension is number 1 is that existing condition existing condition okay or situation at the balance sheet date sir what are uh, what are you talking about sir i am talking about any condition which is existing at the balance sheet date matlab 31st march ko wo condition exist kar raha tha it means 31st march ko wo condition exist kar raha tha i am taking a taking a, like telling out again i am talking about again and again the same thing the balance sheet date pe 31st march pe the event is actually existing 31st march pe wo event exist kar raha tha 
मींस वो पूरा ना कोई इवेंट था एग्जिस्टिंग कंडीशन था वो एग्जिस्ट कर रहा था ओके okay, कोई पुराना इवेंट था वो एग्जिस्ट एक्चुअली कर रहा था आप लिख सकते हो कि देयर इज सम एविडेंस देयर इज सम एविडेंस फॉर सच इवेंट मतलब कुछ कंडीशन या एविडेंस एग्जिस्ट कर रहा था ऑलरेडी ओके सो इन दिस केस यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द एक्सपेक्टेड आउटकम ओके दीज आर सिग्निफिकेंट इवेंट प्लीज नोट डाउन सर एक्सिस्टिंग कंडीशन देयर यू कैन राइट सिग्निफिकेंट इवेंट ओके नाउ इन दिस केस वी हैव टू थिंग्स नंबर वन कंटिन्जेंट लॉस नंबर टू कंटिन्जेंट गेन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू टॉकिंग अबाउट कंटिन्जेंट गेन इन कंटिन्जेंट गेन प्लीज मार्क आउट Covered under S twenty nine, okay. Covered under S twenty nine. Contingent जो gain होगा वो S twenty nine में cover up करेंगे हम लोग, ठीक है ना सर? S twenty nine में हम लोग cover up कर लेंगे. Now contingent loss. What we are going to talking that is an expected, okay? Expected loss. If I write here contingent loss, expected loss may be. expected loss may be probable loss it may be reasonably probable possible reasonably possible and you can say remote so contingent loss expected loss may be probable loss reasonably possible and remote so these three is you have to understand that expected loss may be probable loss your probable loss or reasonably possible and obviously the remote chances these three thing may be happen correct losses may be the remote chances may be like remote contingency means very remote cases to happen the things very remote cases to happening the things and there is a probable loss it means high probability to get the losses and there will be reasonable possible reasonably possible that means the losses is going to be happen correct there is a reasonably possible that may be happen okay sir a reasonably possible that may be happen okay to so, chaliye dekh lete hain ek baar sir guys we need to understand there are three cases i written down okay so based upon this i am going to get down the points here okay number 1 accounting treatment depends on the the depends on the type of expected loss you can write here accounting treatment of contingencies depends on the type of expected loss accounting treatment of contingencies depends on the type of expected loss okay depends on the type of expected loss that is what the point please note it down what up and note kar lijiye isko so sir accounting treatment of contingencies depends on 
the type of loss depends on the type of loss correct depends on the type of expected loss this is the very first case theek okay? hai now we are going to talking about these three account ke treatment kaise hoga wo likh lijiye ek baar theek hai for probable loss there is chance of loss to be occurred is plus 50% correct guys dekhe likhe isko bhumi and sonal deepika samajh mein aa raha hai na ye thoda alag level ka standard hai samajh mein aa raha hai bhumi sonal deepika are you guys facing any difficulty please tell me ये समझ में आ रहा है ना यस सर अच्छा प्रोबेबल लॉस ना आई एम गोइंग टू टॉकिंग अबाउट एन एग्जांपल या थैंक यू नितिन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू वन एग्जांपल ओके व्हाट इज अबाउट द प्रोबेबल लॉस सपोज आप मान के चलिए कि यू हैव यू हैव Sold one goods. You have sold one goods to Kenya. Okay, Kenya. You know about the name Kenya? Is that South African? Uh, like you can say the country, West country is actually South African. So you sold goods to the Kenya. Kenya party. Kenya. Me, कोई party वहाँ पे sell किया अपने customer को. You know that there is a high probability that when you sold goods to Kenya, the Kenya is a highly corrupted country. the kenya is a highly corrupted country so you know that the you may face losses due to non receiving of the payment from the kenya aapko nahi milne ka chances hai sir kyunki i am not telling about that aapko milega hi nahi lekin chances are very high that you are not going to receive the money because this is a corrupted area corrupted country you can say so if there is any chances which you can say that's obviously sir aap to ye measure nahi kar sakte ki 50 ya 60 ya no you cannot measure it it's a it's a type of prediction from your mindset you cannot just think that 50 and 60 you can just sit and think ha sir ye 50% se jyada ho sakta hai you can just think now think the party in the kenya residing who purchase your goods may be pay may pay you only 40% to 60% aapka loss ho gaya to so you know that you have the idea of getting the losses due to sell to the kenya because aapko sell karna tha aapko इंटरनेशनल मार्केट में जाना था दैट्स व्हाई यू सोल्ड योर गुड्स टू द केनिया बट यू फेसेस द लॉसेस सो इफ यू नो द लॉसेस इज दैट द एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ द लॉस और चांस ऑफ द लॉस दैट द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ द लॉस मे बी मोर देन 50% एंड यू नो दैट द अमाउंट कैन बी मेजर रिलायबली इफ यू नो दैट द अमाउंट कैन बी मेजर रिलायबली यू शुड हैव टू रिकॉर्ड द प्रोविजन प्लीज नोट इट डाउन आपको पता है कि सर मेरा 50 60% लॉस होने वाला है because you took the market survey in the kenya after you sold the goods you took the market survey in kenya that how much the data from kenya paid their creditor how much from the data of the kenya paid to their creditor you predicted that it will be high chances that 60% i am not going to receive only 40% so out of 100 amount of 100 rupees of sale 60 rupees is going to be bad and 40 rupees you are going to get receive you are predicting i am telling you about again and again again and again I am obviously talking about the chance and probable. It's not that Kenya का party अपने दिया ही नहीं. Kenya का party पैसा दिया नहीं है, दिया है. ये मैंने बोला ही नहीं है. I just predicting the cases and all about the contingencies. Contingencies मतलब probable and future answer नहीं बेट. ये भी आप मत सोचो कि मिल गया है पैसा. We are just thinking what is probable or not. That's what the important thing. So in case of the probable loss, okay, and amount. can be measured reliably amount can be measured reliably theek hai means high chance of loss on data matlab loss ho jayega loss hone ka chances high hai okay then in this case what do we need to do 
Then in this case, please remember make provision for doubtful list. आप लोग पढ़े होंगे बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स में सर फाइनल अकाउंट्स करने के टाइम पे आई आई ऑब्वियसली थिंक दैट यू ऑल गाइस मेक दिस कांसेप्ट वेरी मच क्लियर दिस थिंग्स यू गेट कांसेप्ट वेरी मच क्लियर व्हाइल यू आर लाइक डूइंग फाइनल अकाउंट ऑफ योर क्लास 11 और फर्स्ट ईयर इन द बीकॉम वी आर क्रिएटिंग प्रोविजन फॉर डाउटफुल डेट बट वी डोंट नो व्हाई यू आर क्रिएटिंग द सेम बिकॉज़ टीचर सेज that uh, you have to make a provision because of that uh, chance of the loss maybe uh, the, the the data may not pay but why the data may not pay and how you are going to record the entry what is the thing behind that why you are not um, uh, like why you are recording this provision what is the reason that you are learning here in the ca intel level because of the probable of losses and the event of the contingencies correct guys samajh mein aaya ye bahut interesting hai तो so, केनिया का एग्जांपल याद रखिएगा आप कुछ भी एग्जांपल लीजिए आपके पास बहुत कुछ सही चीजें हैं ओके क्रेडिट कार्ड का इफ यू परचेस एनी प्रोडक्ट इन अ क्रेडिट एंड सडनली द क्रेडिट कार्ड कंपनीज मेक अ प्रोविजन सडनली क्रेडिट कार्ड कंपनीज मेकिंग अ प्रोविजन ऑन देयर क्रेडिट टू द कस्टमर बिकॉज़ दे नोस आउट ऑफ 100 कस्टमर 10 कस्टमर मे बी देयर हु इज नॉट गोइंग टू पे द मनी ऑन टाइम करेक्ट so they definitely making provision every time that's what they are thinking bolo provision karke hi chhodenge bina provision ka wo rahega hi nahi bolo provision karke hi chhodenge correct guys ye aapko yaad rakhna hai theek hai sir ye aapko yaad rakhna hai clear ekdam sir clear ho gaya sir ekdam clear theek hai it's a probable loss now next is that reasonably possible matlab reasonable hai possible ho sakta hai लॉस में भी रीजनेबली पॉसिबल रीजनेबली पॉसिबल मतलब लॉस होने का चांसेस है मतलब मींस यू कैन से मींस चांस इज 5 टू 50 परसेंट और मोर देन 50 परसेंट वेर लिखिए जो मैं लिखा रहा हूं चांसेस इज फाइव टू फिफ्टी परसेंट और मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट वेर अमाउंट कैन नॉट बी मेजर रिलेबली यू आर अनेबल टू मेजर द अमाउंट रिलेबली ओके यू आर अनेबल टू मेजर द अमाउंट रिलेबली आप मेजर नहीं कर पा रहे हो आप रिलेबली मेजर नहीं कर पा रहे हो करेक्ट ओके रिजनेबली पॉसिबल है the loss may be possible but you are unable to calculate the loss clearly chances is 5 to 50 percent and more than 50 percent chances 5 to 50 percent or more than 50 percent then in this case what do you need to do very simple sir you just do one thing you just do one thing okay disclosure to be made by way of note while you preparing the balance sheet and pl of the company you just made a disclosure that this is the chance of losses it may be happen this and this that's all it may be happen this and this this is the chance of losses samjhe sir clear hai so ye bhi ho gaya mera reasonable possible reasonable possible last case remote sir name is remote means very door steps to happen remote is what remote is you can say the chance is maximum to maximum 0 to 5% Chance is maximum to maximum zero to five percent to be happy. एक example देता हूँ चलो sir देखो मैं एक अलग example ले रहा हूँ मतलब थोड़ा difficult example है आप इसको कैसे लोगे मुझे पता नहीं लेकिन I am going to tell you let's see आपने मुकेश अंबानी को good sell किया है आपने मुकेश अंबानी को good sell किया है do you think that मुकेश अंबानी is going to uh, not going to pay you Do you think that Mukesh Ambani is not going to pay you? You guys all give the answer. Yes, sir. He is going to pay the money within time. And sir, this business is. It's not that that every time it's high chances that everyone should pay. Sometimes some situation may be there 
that due to the COVID, someone may not pay, even if he is capable before the COVID. So sometime you are predicting that the money is going to receive and sometime your prediction may fail. So if there is any remote chances that your prediction is almost correct that ah, sir, ye paisa mil jayega. we are not going to uh, do the provision. But sometime may be possible that it may be happen. That's why return zero to five percent. Some provision, some part of chances may be there that maybe the insolvency happen. So that is why if there is any remote chances, you can ignore it. You can ignore it. No provision required. Okay. So you can remote chances uh, means there is a remote chance. Kapu kuch karna nahi. Ab kya note doge sir? It will be ignored. It will be ignored. Done, sir. It will be ignored. Please make a note. Ye teen tarika ka mera contingency. Abi contingency is mera khatam nahi hua. Abi bahut saara chiz hai. This is what the thing. Abi bahut saara chiz hai. Wo hum log karenge. Theek hai. Ye to basic chiz hai samajh mein aa gaya. Ye basic chiz hai samajh mein aa gaya. Okay. little bit or more discussion karna hai mujhe regarding the probable losses it's done sir about the contingency okay now we are talking about the probable losses okay i expect that everyone is completed I expect that everyone is coming. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead. Let's go. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, we are going to talk about a little bit of possible losses. In case of probable loss, you can say. Okay. The first one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. 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 So, I'm going to write it down. So, if you see, in case of the probable losses, if you see in case of the probable losses, the accounting team may relate to the probable losses. Probable losses. Okay. You can write please. If there is no counter claim or claim against third party provision in full for probable loss should be made If there is counter claim, if there is counter claim or claim against third party, provision should be made. after taking into account the probable recovery the probable recovery under the claim chali isko samajhte these are the two cases with respect to the accounting okay of the probable losses so there are probable losses is two cases one is called if there is no counter claim or claim 
against third party it means you don't have any claim it means you faces losses your sandy data is unable to repay the money your data is unable to repay the money correct guys your data is unable to repay the money and you don't have any claim against the third party hota hai na kabhi kabhar aap insurance karke rakhte ho jaise example mein leta hu just think you made an insurance with the national insurance company or let's say you know about the lic life insurance co company and sometime the um, the event has happened let's say in lic you took the mediclaim let's say for the purpose of example mediclaim to nahi ho sakta ki wo lic hai let's say uh, you took mediclaim okay and you hospitalized so obviously you are going to claim the mediclaim from the lic but lic set out a third party which is going to settle the claim lic is not going to settle the claim there is a third party who is going to settle the claim so you have a claim over the third party it means over the party of the lic so socho if you just think you lic third party you took insurance from lic you took insurance from lic and when the incident is happening when the incident is happening or when the incident is going to be happen then then the third party then the third party then the third party is going to pay you the money when you took insurance from lic and you like let's say suppose you are going to hospitalize let's say for let's say suppose have some uh, small operation okay so or let's say i hospitalized and i have some operation okay so lic is not going to pay you the claim rather third party is going to pay the claim when it is assured that third party is going to pay you the claim in this case you have to understand that provision should be made after taking into the claim it means you know there is an 80000 rupees of insurance you are not going to get the full insurance because sir you have made insurance so the disease you cover and the disease for which you hospitalized is not the same for which your claim may be little bit lower let's say 25000 and the hospital cost become 40000 become you are predicting become 40000 so you know that sir the third party on behalf of lic is going to pay me 25000 out of whatever the hospitalized claim will be so let's say final hospital bill coming 50000 and you only receive 25000 from the third party on behalf of lic so remain 25000 is your payment so it for which for those 25000 you have to made a provision before the hospital bill will be realized समझे ये सेकंड वाला केस है इफ यू आर गोइंग टू रिसीव एनी थर्ड पार्टी क्लेम देन यू प्रेडिक्टिंग दैट थर्ड पार्टी क्लेम इज दिस मच ऑफ अमाउंट सो व्हाटएवर द लॉसेस इज गोइंग टू बी हैपेंड आई एम टेलिंग यू गोइंग टू बी हैपेंड इन फ्यूचर टेंस यू शुड हैव टू डिडक्ट द प्रोबेबल सो यू हैव टू डिडक्ट द थर्ड पार्टी क्लेम फ्रॉम द प्रोबेबल फ्यूचर लॉसेस एंड द नेट अमाउंट शुड बी रिकॉर्डेड इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स एज अ प्रोविजन द नेट अकाउंट शुड बी रिकॉर्डेड इन द प्रोविजन in the books of accounts this is an example of this particular case ye example is ka samajh maya sir ekdam clear and if there is no counter claim or claim against the third party if there is no counter claim or claim against the third party then aapko full provision karna hai aap kisi ko paisa diye ho you sell some goods to someone else uh, suppose ye wala example hai you sold goods to the mr x and when mr x is going to be insolvent then you have full losses if mr x going to be let's say you sold some goods to mr x correct guys samajh mein aa raha hai you sold some goods to mr x and mr x is going to be insolvent aapko kahan se paisa milega bhumi paisa milega aapko bhumi if mr x going to be insolvent in future nahi sir you are predicting that mr x going to be insolvent not insolvent but going to be insolvent and you don't have any third party to claim the same आज के दिन में लोग क्या करते हैं पता है आज के दिन में लोग ना 
सब चीज का इंश्योरेंस करके रखता है इवन इव एसी का भी इंश्योरेंस होता है पता है आपको एसी का इंश्योरेंस होता है फ्रिज का इंश्योरेंस होता है टीवी का इंश्योरेंस हो रहा है आज के दिन में आपके घर में यूटेंसिल्स का इंश्योरेंस हो रहा है पता है आपको नया चीज आने वाला है द यूटेंसिल्स यूज इन योर होम लाइक ग्लासेस वाले यूटेंसिल्स उसका भी इंश्योरेंस हो रहा है आज के दिन में समझिए बात मेरा तो क्योंकि इंश्योरेंस क्यों हो रहा है ताकि लोगों के पास ना ये प्रोवेल लॉस इस वाला केस ना रहे ये केस रहे क्योंकि अगर यू आर फेसिंग फुल लॉसेस इट्स योर प्योर लॉस It's your pure loss, so there is certain safety requirement with respect to the future transaction. So to make the future transaction more safety, the concept of this particular case is coming third party claim. But if there is certain things that you are not going to receive any amount from the third party, then provision should be made for the full amount in case of any future losses that may be occur with respect to the customer. Sir, ये दोनों केस हो गया सर समझ में आ गया. Bhumi Sonal Deepika. Everyone, please confirm me. And question coming from here, okay? Question यहाँ से आता है और आपका कर A sport से question बहुत आता है, बहुत ज़्यादा ही question आता है. ठीक है sir? ये clear हो गया sir. Provable losses is being very very much clear. बहुत सारे example लूँगा और भी easy हो जाएंगे. अभी मैं छोटा-छोटा example दे रहा हूँ ताकि आपको समझने में easy हो. There are uh, multiple things are there that we are going to discuss. ठीक है? चलिए अच्छा सर ये तो कंप्लीट हो गया है अब एक पॉइंट और बचा था ये नोट कर लिया भूमि दीपिका आप लोगों ने कंफर्म ही प्लीज ये नोट हो गया या ग्रेट अब और एक नोट छोटा सा बाकी है जो नोट हम लोगों को करना है यहाँ पे वो एक कंडीशन ऑफ सिचुएशन आफ्टर द बैलेंस शीट डेट अभी हम लोगों ने क्या सीखा था एग्जिस्टिंग कंडीशन एट द बैलेंस शीट डेट एग्जिस्टिंग कंडीशन एट द बैलेंस शीट डेट ना आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट कंडीशन आफ्टर द बैलेंस शीट डेट लिखिए कंडीशन और सिचुएशन कंडीशन सिचुएशन बैलेंस शीट डेट के बाद एग्जिस्ट हुआ है पहले नहीं मतलब जो भी सिचुएशन आया वो बैलेंस शीट डेट के बाद आया After the balance sheet date, okay. After the balance sheet date, it is before balance sheet date. It is after balance sheet date. Okay. So any event which is coming after the balance sheet date, any condition situation which is existing after the balance sheet date. I am repeating again. Any condition or situation which comes after balance sheet date. नो अकाउंटिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड करेक्ट गाइस नोट कर लीजिए इसको नो अकाउंटिंग इवन इज रिक्वायर्ड नो अकाउंटिंग इवन इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके नॉर नाइदर By means of provision, means of provision, nor by way of disclosure. Disclosure notes. Done, sir. Completed. So, guys, बहुत interesting चीजें अभी समझ में आ गया हम लोगों को. Existing condition or situation at the balance sheet date when there is something. Which you can say that it is existing at the balance sheet date. Then we have multiple things to record: contingent loss, contingent gain, probable loss, reasonable loss, and uh, remote. And when the condition or situation after the balance sheet date, then no accounting statement is required, neither by means of provision nor by your uh, disclosure. Because because the on the balance sheet date you don't know about this. After balance sheet date, the condition existing based on the certain event. After the balance sheet date, the condition existing based on the certain event. ठीक है सर?
we are talking about contingency and event occurring after the balance sheet guys name ke sath na aap merge mat kijiyega we are write down the provision contingency and event occurring after the balance sheet i am not say that the event happening after the balance sheet but the event should have to give the record when the when the situation exist at the balance sheet date we are talking about that event happened after balance sheet date but the situation or condition already existing at the balance sheet date if situation happen after the balance sheet date yo to accounting entry hoga hi nahi yahan pe hum log jo discussion kar rahe the discussion is all about event occurring after the balance sheet date i am not telling about the events or situation after the balance sheet date it's occurring means happening so here the condition is totally different it's a condition means occurring after the balance sheet means condition existing at the balance sheet date but situation happened after the balance sheet date before finalization of the final accounts before finalization of the final accounts at the agm please don't confuse with the two word occurring after the balance sheet date means situation happened after the balance sheet date and condition before balance sheet date or at the balance sheet date means condition already pre existing at the balance sheet date कंडीशन ऑलरेडी प्री एक्सिस्टिंग एट द बैलेंस शीट डेट ठीक है दोनों के पीछे बहुत डिफरेंस है गाइस हां प्लीज डोंट मेक इट कंफ्यूज्ड एट ऑल बहुत सारे एग्जांपल लेंगे क्लियर हो जाएगा चलो अभी हम लोग जो सीखेंगे वो है नंबर इंपॉर्टेंट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज इवेंट ऑकरिंग आफ्टर द बैलेंस शीट डेट आरएस अंडर ओके contingency see guys sir we have learned contingencies now we are going to talking about event occurring after the balance sheet date okay we are going to talking about event occurring after the balance sheet date events occur or occurring after the balance sheet date okay after the balance sheet date okay after the balance sheet date sir after the balance sheet date that's very important okay the important aspect we should have to understand that event occurring after the balance sheet date okay but before finalization of the account but before finalization but before finalization or approval of financial statement event occurring after the balance sheet date but before finalization or approval of the financial statement but before finalization or approval of financial statement so this is what we are going to talk about sir mujhe ek cheez boliye before finalization matlab kya means before the approval at the agm agm is going to be happen on 30th september and the books of accounts is closed by 31st march so there will be 6 months time so in between this 6 months time the event happened or occurred but it will be occurred before approval so in between the 6 months term the event happening dekhiye ek baar main aapko is tarike se dikhata aapko easy hoga ek baar dekhiye easy hoga dekhiye you can say first of 2022 theek hai and your financial year close 31st march 2023 correct so you can say this is a balance sheet date perfect sir note it down so it is a financial year 22 23 perfect sir my financial year start with 14 2022 and financial year end with 31st march 23 so my date is financial year 22 23 that is the balance sheet date correct guys now just think the 31st march 23 24 sorry it's a closing of the year but in between this you just think 30th september 2023 is a approval 
of the financial statement. Thirtieth September is the date of approval of the financial statement. Correct, guys. Thirtieth September is the date of approval of the financial statement. Thirtieth September is the date of approval of the financial statement. So, मुझे एक चीज याद रखना है सर. In between these periods, in between these periods, देखे मैं इसको यहाँ पे लिख रहा हूँ इसे. In between these periods, you need approval. It means event already existing at the balance sheet date. But the event actually happened in between these two periods, these and these. In between these two periods, the event occurred actually. But situation already exists at the balance sheet date. Okay, situation already exists at the balance sheet date. Just a fire occur, fire occur on 31st May. But at the balance sheet date, the the balance sheet date, the event is already existing. You know that fire may be occur at any point of time. So on the balance sheet date. The event based on the fire occurred is existing, and the event actually happening on 31st May, after two months of the closure of the financial year, but before approval of the financial statement. So you can say it is an event occurring after the balance sheet date. Okay, event occurring after the balance sheet date. So when we discussing about this point, this diagram you should have to remember. It will be very easy for you to cope up with this if you remember this. The whole discussion I am taking about okay, the whole discussion when we are going to discuss the standard whether the event occurring after the balance sheet date should be recorded as on the balance sheet date or in the next financial year, whether it should be recognized in next financial year or current financial year. That is what the concept. The whole concept lying in that the mainly whether the event occurring after the balance sheet date. Should be recorded in the balance sheet date or not? That's the very important thing. Whether you have recorded something on the balance sheet date, which means on 31st March, whether you have recorded something on the balance sheet date or not, that is the biggest question. Or not, that is the biggest question. Okay. So this is what the important point to be noted down here. Okay, sir. समझ में आया? That is what very important. Now I am going to talking about something else. Okay, some important note is that please note it down. Significant event. The first thing that we should have to know that that is what is a significant event, sir. Sir, what is called a significant event? Significant event are those event. Significant event are those event. Which occur between the balance sheet date and the financial statement approval. Please note it down. Occur, occur between the balance sheet date and approval of financial statement. Occurred between balance sheet date and approval of financial statement. So, guys, please remember, significant event means in between these period something happened. In between these period, ये आपको लिख के रखना है बहुत ही मतलब important है. Before like at the date of approval or at the date of balance sheet date. So, इन दोनों के बीच में कोई अगर घटना हुआ है, event हुआ है, तो उसको significant event कहलाया जाता है. The event known as significant event. अगर इन बिटवीन दिस टू पीरियड कुछ घटना अगर होता है तो उसको क्या बोलते हैं सर हम लोग सिग्निफिकेंट इवेंट उसको क्या बोलते हैं सर हम लोग सिग्निफिकेंट इवेंट ठीक है सर इसको सिग्निफिकेंट इवेंट बोला जाता है सर नाउ द थिंग इज दैट सिग्निफिकेंट इवेंट क्या हो सकता है फेवरेबल हो सकता है अनफेवरेबल हो सकता है मे बी फेवरेबल मे बी फेवरेबल और अनफेवरेबल बोथ आर पॉसिबल हियर May be favorable or unfavorable. Both are possible here. Okay. May be favorable or unfavorable. Both are possible here, sir. Done. May be favorable or unfavorable. Now, the definition you can write here with respect to this significant event or material events. Okay. Significant event or material events which can influence. The economic decision of 
of the user of the financial statement. Something material event, significant event have is called material event, which can influence the decision making of the user. It means those who are using the financial statement like creditor, debtor, shareholder, government, okay, any third party, those who are using your financial statement, their decision may get impacted due to existence of the material event. Their decision may be impacted due to existence of the material event. Due to existence of material event, the, imp uh, the decision may be impacted. Correct guys? That is what the thought process. That is what the significant thought process. Egg them clear, sir. Pakka, sir. Egg them clear. Okay? That is what the fundamental. You note kali jay bhai. Answer. Ganna. Very good. तो और वो एग्जांपल याद रखेगा मैंने क्या बोला था कि फायर ऑकर्ड ऑन 31 मई 2023 इट मींस द इवेंट बेस्ड ऑन फायर ऑकर्ड इज नथिंग बट इवेंट ऑकरिंग आफ्टर द बैलेंस शीट डेट क्योंकि बैलेंस शीट डेट इज 31 मार्च एंड अप्रूवल इज 30 सितंबर सो द एग्जांपल प्लीज मेक अ नोट ऑफ दैट फायर ऑकर्ड इन बिटवीन इन बिटवीन 31 मार्च टिल द डेट ऑफ अप्रूवल इज नथिंग बट कॉल Nothing but called event occur after the balance sheet date. Okay, and you face loss of 10 crores due to loss of the fire in the godown. Okay, 10 crore of the loss. Okay, sir. Acha. The event has to be categorized in two ways. Look, if you go through the book, you book can do it. And we will see it down below. There are a lot of things to understand. Event can be classified in two ways. Okay. Event can be classified in two ways. Adjusting events, non-adjusting events. I am repeating. Event can be classified on two ways. Adjusting and non-adjusting. Okay, sir. Event can be classified in two ways. Adjusting events, sir. And non-adjusting events. Sir, adjusting event means those which provide further evidence of conditions that existed at the balance sheet date. It means condition already existing on 31st March. Guys, they keep it. Adjusting event means those event, the a condition of which already existing on the balance sheet date. Mother kuch ghatna hone ka. It means kuch ghatna event. Hone ka jo condition hai na. That means occurring of the event is already existing on the balance sheet date. But the, that is not actually happened. But condition actually existing on the balance sheet date. Usko adjusting event bolte sir. Usko kya bolte? Adjusting event sir. Kya bolte sir? Usko adjusting event. Thik hai sir? Next. Like trade receivable declared insolvent after balance sheet date. Let's say 38 April. Mera balance sheet date kap tha? 31 March. 38 April go. Trade receivable ने declare कर दिया कि मैं हाथ उठा दे रहा हूँ मैं insolvent हो चुका हूँ and unable to pay full amount against whom provision for doubtful debt was created समझ में आया सर आपको कि 31st मार्च को देखो मुझे तो पता ही था on 31st मार्च जब the goods sold to Kenya party may become insolvent or may not be able to pay the money that is why I already made the provision that is why I already made the provision so this is the event where provision you can adjust the loss against the provision. This is the event, guys. Huh? This is the event of adjusting where the law where the provision you made in your books, you can adjust the provision against the loss happening due to non-payment of the Kenya party. Due to non-payment of the Kenya party. This is called the adjusting event. This is called the adjusting event. Guys, clear it. Samaj me are pura clearly. This is called sir adjusting event. This pura samaj me aagya sir. Ek dam. May I be likha hoga notes. That is what I am giving you the snapshots. Okay sir. Ek dam pakka sir. Pura clear hai. Pura paani ho gaya sir. Okay. Ek dam clear hai sir. 
and also you have to understand that it is giving you some evidence at the balance sheet day. It is giving you some evidence at the balance sheet day. Okay. So guys, on the balance sheet day, they are going to give you some information regarding the happening. Because you know that loss can happen and loss is going to happen. Like that. You know that loss can happen. It means loss may be happen or the chances of happening of the proven loss is more than 50%. So this is called adjusting events. Of course, adjusting means those which are existing at the balance sheet date, the evidence of which is already existing at the balance sheet date, which already existing at the balance sheet date. Okay. And now accounting team may loss should be accounted in the accounts and assets and liabilities to be adjusted. So whatever the loss you incur due to the trade receivables in this given example, you have to record in the books of accounts and adjust your provision accordingly. Okay, and the assets and liabilities means Sunday data means the Sunday data will be adjusted accordingly. Means the Sunday data will be adjusted accordingly, sir. Okay, yaad rakhna hai aapko ye cheez. Sir, ab aate non-adjusting event. Sir, in case of non-adjusting event, the indicative of condition that arose subsequent to the balance sheet date. आप सोचो कि सर नॉन एडजस्टिंग इवेंट्स आर दोस इवेंट्स रिलेटेड टू द सिचुएशन और सरकमस्टेंसेस एक्जिस्टिंग ऑन बैलेंस शीट डेट ओके इन अदर वर्ड्स इंटरली न्यू इवेंट्स आफ्टर द बैलेंस शीट डेट इट मींस नो कंडीशन एक्जिस्ट ऑन द बैलेंस शीट डेट जिसका कोई कंडीशन ही एक्जिस्ट नहीं करता बैलेंस शीट डेट में जिसका कोई कंडीशन बैलेंस शीट डेट में एक्जिस्ट नहीं करता है Subsequent events don't affect amount on the balance sheet date. So guys, आपको याद रखना है, समझिए, the 31st March is our balance sheet date, but the fire occurred. आपको थोड़ी ना पता था कि आग लग जाएगा, आपको थोड़ी ना पता था कि आग लग जाएगा मेरे गोडाउन में, 31st March के बाद आग लग गया. Now you think the event already happened on the balance sheet date, it may be recorded as a provision. 31st March को डेटर मुझे पता था और 31st March I know that डेटर में not pay some money for which I need the provision that is why it is not adjusting में but I don't know के 31st March में कोई आग लगेगा मुझे थोड़ी ना पता था भूमि और दीपिका के 31st में कोई आग लगेगा after the balance sheet date so the evidence doesn't exist on the balance sheet date आपको पता ही नहीं था के 31st में को लगेगा आपको कुछ पता नहीं था तो उसका इंपैक्ट बुक्स में पड़ेगा नहीं पड़ेगा उसका उसका कोई इंपैक्ट पड़ेगा नहीं क्योंकि बैलेंस शीट डेट में तो कुछ था ही नहीं और बैलेंस शीट तो बन चुका है मतलब थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च के बाद जितना भी इवेंट इन बिटवीन दिस पीरियड इट विल ओनली बी रिकॉर्डेड इन दिस जितना भी इवेंट इन बिटवीन पीरियड में होगा उसका तो ऑलरेडी रिकॉर्ड करेंगे ना हम लोग लेकिन उसके बाद अगर कोई इवेंट होगा तो हम लोग उसको बुक्स में किस तरीके से इफेक्ट करेंगे उसमें कोई इफेक्ट नहीं आएगा अगर कोई भी इवेंट सब्सिक्वेंटली होता है आफ्टर द बैलेंस शीट डेट फॉर व्हिच यू डोंट नो अबाउट द हैपनिंग इट विल नॉट गोइंग टू बी इंपैक्टेड ऑफ द बैलेंस शीट इट विल नॉट गोइंग टू इफेक्ट द अमाउंट ऑफ द बैलेंस शीट ओके बट इफ इट इज सिग्निफिकेंट वी डिस्क्लोज इन द अप्रूविंग अथॉरिटीज रिपोर्ट नॉट इन एफएस इफ देयर इज एनी सिग्निफिकेंट थिंग्स आर देयर we should not record we should not disclose in the financial statement but we can uh, disclose in the audit report we can disclose in the management report so agar aapka loss se bahut zyada significant event hota hai due to loss you may is lo getting some huge losses then you should disclose it but no or not in the financial statement but in the audit report or management report okay and you should not adjust the same in the balance sheet you should not adjust the same in the balance sheet please make it more sure you should not adjust the same in the balance sheet aapko balance sheet mein koi adjust nahi karna hai iske karan aapko balance sheet mein koi adjustment nahi karna hai theek hai theek hai sir chaliye iska note banate hain bhumi and dipika koi doubt hai simple sa thing in adjusting event 
already on 31st March, the condition exists. Although the event occur after the 31st March, but before 30th September. So that is why in case of adjusting event, the losses should be adjusted with respect to the provision you made as well as liability and the asset will be adjusted accordingly. But in case of non-adjusting event, the evidence shouldn't exist that ag lag jayega. But the fire occurred on 31st May. So don't have a pure, uh, pure condition to exist on the balance sheet date. But fire occurred. So in this case, you should not have to record anything in the books of accounts related to the non-adjusting event. But you should have to remember, if it is very significant or material, you can show or you can mention in the audit report and the management report. But don't disclose in the financial statement. But don't disclose in the financial statement. That's very important. So yeah, okay, sir. Completed. Chalo, have a note banana please. Events are of two types, okay. Events occurring after the balance sheet date. First of all, adjusting event. Condition on the balance sheet it exists. Okay. Condition existing on the balance sheet date. But event occur after the balance sheet date. Provide it. Additional information. Existing. On the balance sheet date. Event occur after the balance sheet date provided additional information existing on the balance sheet date. Okay. The additional information materially. affects the amount on the balance sheet date. The additional information materially affects the amount on the balance sheet date. It means due to the loss because of Sochona on the balance sheet date, the customer is showing 20,000 rupees. But after the balance sheet date, means after the balance sheet date and before the approval of the financial statement, the data would not pay 2,000 rupees. So, uh, money may impact na? the data would not be able to pay 2,000 rupees. It means the money will be impacted for you. So, 18,000 rupees actually customer due to the loss of 2,000. Correct? So, these 2,000 should have to be recorded in your books of accounts. The 2,000 should have to be recorded in the books of accounts. Okay, we'll record karne वो आपको रिकॉर्ड करने पड़ेंगे सर ठीक है सो यू कैन राइट हियर अकाउंटिंग ट्रीटमेंट लॉस शुड बी अकाउंटेड in the accounts and assets and liabilities to 
to be adjusted. Okay, to be adjusted. You want here. So this is called the adjusting unit. Example. Example, sir, like non-payment of, like you can write here, example. Credit receivable exist on 31st March 2000 cross 2. But on 31st May 2000 cross 2, data become insolvent and only pays 50% of the dues. Only pays for 50% of the dues. Correct. Only pays 50% of the dues. Only pays 50% of the dues. Chika sir, clear? Credit receivable exists on balance sheet date, but on 31st March, 31st May, data become insolvent and only pays 50% of the dues. So in this case, what happens, sir? In this case, what happened? In this case, you can say, the provision should be adjusted as well as data balance should be reduced. Perfect, sir. A note can be example with area and the data balance should be reduced. Both are examples. We will see some of the sums. This is a basic thing to understand so that it is easy or something else. And I am going to, uh, like, uh, um, like at the very beginning, I told you guys that we are only talking about that data. Okay, we are only talking about the trade receivables. We are only and only talking about the trade receivables. Nothing we as such. We will not talk about the data and discuss it. We are only talking about the data. Okay? अब नॉन एजेंसिंग इवेंट्स आ जाते हैं सर ये नोट कर लीजिए पढ़ाप से प्लीज मेक अ नोट ऑफ दैट जब ये नोट कीजिए उसके बाद नॉन एजेंसिंग इवेंट को पढ़ लेंगे एक बार करना वेरी गुड नाउ यू कैन राइट हियर नॉन एजेंसिंग इवेंट इसमें बहुत सारे एग्जांपल है वो मैं बताऊंगा अभी पहले इसको लिख लीजिए एक बार नो कंडीशन नो कंडीशन एग्जिस्ट ऑन द बैलेंस शीट डेट कोई भी कंडीशन बैलेंस शीट डेट में एग्जिस्ट ही करता नहीं कोई भी कंडीशन बैलेंस शीट डेट में एग्जिस्ट ही करता नहीं नो कंडीशन एग्जिस्ट ऑन द बैलेंस शीट डेट नो कंडीशन एग्जिस्ट ऑन द बैलेंस शीट डेट सर ठीक है एक एग्जांपल छोटा सा नाउ आफ्टर 31 मार्च द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर प्रिपेयर फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट एंड दे कम टू नो दैट दे मेड एन एक्सीलेंट प्रॉफिट ड्यूरिंग द प्रीवियस ईयर they made excellent profit during the previous year. They want to, they want to pay dividend to the shareholder. Now think, on 31st March, they don't know about the, they don't know about the dividend to be uh, like distributed. Dividend to be distributed, dividend to be declared or distributed. But due to the only one profit increase, due to only the only one single evident like profit increase, they are going to declare the uh, proposed dividend. They are going to declare the dividend. Our social 30 was much with the Pata Nintana dividend then I can you don't know. But when the accounts will finalize, then we come to know that we made excellent profit for which we want to declare the dividend. So condition not existing on the balance sheet date as a proposed dividend. 
condition not existed but the proposed dividend we are going to disclose in the notes because on 2016 okay in 2016 the amendment has been made in the standard before 2016 we are going to show the proposed dividend in the books of accounts but from 2017 onwards the proposed dividend is only being showing as a disclosure note because until and unless the dividend is paid okay you cannot show it because it is a proposed you are proposing you are not paying you are just proposing so propose karne se thodi na aise ke de denge ha dena hai kyunki dividend dete hi hai lekin it doesn't mean that you have to record in in the books of accounts you have to record in the books of accounts that doesn't mean okay so proposed uh, proposed dividend is separately topic proposed dividend is a pure separate topic we need to discuss theek hai so ye likh lijiye main isko niche likha deta hu no condition exist on the balance sheet date subsequent event after the balance sheet date subsequent event after balance sheet date does not affect the amount on the balance sheet date ठीक है सर सब्सिक्वेंट इवेंट आफ्टर बैलेंस शीट डेट डज नॉट अफेक्ट द अमाउंट ऑफ द बैलेंस शीट डेट इट मींस आपका प्रोपोज्ड डिविडेंड वो तो नेक्स्ट ईयर इंपैक्ट करेगा करंट ईयर में क्यों करेगा ऑलरेडी बुक क्लोजेस यू जस्ट ओनली डिक्लेअर द डिविडेंड फ्रॉम द करंट ईयर प्रॉफिट बट इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू इंपैक्ट इट राइट नाउ बिकॉज़ यू आर डिक्लेअरिंग यू आर वांट टू डिक्लेअर ओके इट विल हैव अ इंपैक्ट इन द नेक्स्ट इफ इट इज सिग्निफिकेंट if it is significant please make a note of that if it is significant disclose the same in the report of approving authority like in bracket you can write like board report okay like board report but not in fs financial statement but not in financial statement okay acha isko theek tarah se likh dete hain bahut chota ho gaya but not in financial statement theek hai sir last don't adjust the balances as on balance sheet date don't adjust the balances as on balance sheet date We need not to adjust anything in the balance sheet date. कुछ adjust नहीं करेंगे sir. Don't adjust the balances as on the balance sheet date. ठीक है? कोई adjustment नहीं होगा इसमें. इसमें multiple examples हैं. अभी example में लूँगा. ठीक है? उसके पहले कुछ चीज़ दिखाऊँगा यहाँ पे. पहले लिख लीजिए प्रोपोज डिविडेंड आफ्टर थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन इट इज क्लासिफाइड एज non adjusting event hence non adjusting event and
significant event hence disclosure required okay likh lijiye after 31 march 16 it is classified as non existing event and significant event hence disclosure required hence we should disclose theek okay? hai hence we should disclose theek okay? hai example discontinue a uh, operation announcing acha announcing of discontinuing of uh, discontinuing operation okay after balance sheet date so just think after the balance sheet date they have made an announced plan to discontinue the business so it doesn't exist in the balance sheet date number 1 number 2 major business combination major business combination after balance sheet date major business combination means amalgamation amalgamation means amalgamation in case of amalgamation the bal on the balance sheet date that doesn't exist but after the balance sheet date the deal finalized and then we are into the pathway of doing the amalgamation we are into the pathway of the amalgamation so isme koi entry nahi hoga sir ye in a like non existing event hai okay third decline in the market value of investment so these are the example these are the example of non existing event if any investment value decrease aap log socho 31 march 2024 is a book closer date theek hai now 30 september 2024 is a financial statement approval date on the date of balance sheet we don't know about the decline in the value of the investment now on the 4th june when the ls poll result will come the market value of the investment may decline or may increase so when the market value if let's say suppose due to the ls poll the market value will decline on the 4th june so after the balance sheet date the event comes as a decline in the value of investment due to the ls poll result so this is an non adjusting because aapko to pata hi nahi tha na on the balance sheet date on 31st march that the investment value become decrease so this is called non adjusting event so sir mujhe pura clearly samajh mein aa gaya with respect to the event which are called adjusting which are called non adjusting non adjusting event we don't do any accounting simple lucid language in two words don't do any accounting if you want to disclose you disclose provided this will be a significant event or major event if you want to disclose you can disclose provided it will be a significant event then you can disclose otherwise no adjustment is required at all theek okay? hai so this is what our the basic concept of adjusting non adjusting done little bit of small part is pending which we are going to take care in the next class little bit of small part is pending disclosure in small two three topics let's say or half an hour we are going to discuss in the next class and then you are going to do the sums and complete this particular standards i hope you all guys have understood the point clear correct 